Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I've just purchased the WordPress subscribers plugin uh, by Jenny R and um, of course I think it's fantastic because I have purchased it. So what happens is I've come to the members area as soon as I did purchase and I have to put my website URL in here. Okay, so this is the members area and um, to get that website URL there's instructions down the bottom here it says go to the general settings and copy this field here WordPress address URL exactly the way it is so if it has a, fl a slash on the end then make sure it's got a slash on the end and then it says to paste it in and um, up the top see that's what I've done there and I've pressed on change URL and it's all set. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my um, WordPress dashboard, which is over here. I'll just go here. Okay, so um, what happened next is I did install the plugin. All I did was go to the plugin section and press on add new because I downloaded the plugin when I bought it. Then it asked for an email and a code. Now I paid through Clickbank so my Clickbank code was the actual um, it was the receipt number and I put that in and the email address was my PayPal email address. Okay so then I pressed on activate and here I am and I want to put the code in for my form. So I'm going to go to, um, uh, what's it called, MailChimp and I'm going to go to my lists. Okay, so what I did is I chose a list from the lists that I have here and I'm going to go up to this for your website and get the sign up form embed code. Now, um, if I go down, it's already here, there it is right there. Um, there's uh, many options to choose here. Um, you might have Aweber, but just go and get a simple form and get the code. Okay, let's just get the code. Well, I'm going to copy it. Right, so I've made it all blue, so make sure you've got the whole lot there. And now I'm going back to put it into my um, website. So I'm going back to the settings and here where it says enter your HTML code I'm going to paste it in there so there it is there's the form code that I got and now I'm going down the bottom here and look at all these details here looks a little bit difficult but all you have to do is press on detect form code over here okay so what it did is it filled everything in for me so I don't need to do anything okay so we've got the form in we've got the details and um, now we can go and create a form okay guys I'm just going to create a simple post opt-in form so I've checked the box here to enable it and then these parts show up for me these two boxes and all the details now I've just pasted in a line of text there and also something here. Now I probably might put an image in there so I'm just going to click where I want to put it and insert an image. I've got to go and find it obviously. Okay so it says that it wants an image URL so what I've got to do is go and find one. So I'm going to press cancel. I'm quickly going to go and get a URL in my media section here. So I'll just scroll down and have a look. And I just want to get the URL of the image. Which is just here. Okay, so make sure you get the whole URL right to the end there where it's got .png so it might be .jpg or whatever so make sure you get the whole lot. Right, now I'm going to get out of there. Okay, so I 
went and got the URL of an image but I actually changed my mind and got another image um, anyway so I pressed on create opt-in form and then went back to the post opt-in form section which is here because there's tabs across here okay so I'm on here and I've edited a few things here just by making the text a bit bigger and I'm gonna add in my picture here so I'm just gonna click where I want the picture to go and press on insert image icon okay so now I can paste my URL that I grabbed in there and um, I can also add in a couple of other things like putting the image to the left um, and also resizing it so um, oh, let's just say we want to make it um, we don't want to make it too big just say 200 by 300 we'll see what happens and um, we'll just press insert now it's just got a thing saying you haven't put a description but that's okay alright so there it is the actual um, it looks a bit long and lanky that book there but we'll see what happens um, the other thing is that you can go down here and press on more settings and in here I've actually changed the form color the background to white um, what else did I do I also changed the button color here um, that is the text button color and this part here the submit background button thing is that is the button color okay now um, also down here you can see what opt-in form is selected if you don't if you've made more than one then you'll see them in that list there um, the other thing is that the form location can be the top or the bottom and I've chose the bottom here now as you can see from the tabs here we're putting a form into the post okay so I'll just make that a bit clear um, you can also add some extra CSS but we're just going to leave that for now and I'm going to press save changes and I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to go to one of the posts just so we can see what the form looks like there it is there now we've definitely made it short and fat this time um, as you can see a little bit of adjustment goes a long way also we've got the blue button with the black writing and stuff like that so it looks pretty good um, you can put like a red border around it or you can do whatever you like with it um, I really love it I think it's great alright we'll go on to the next one okay the next form I'm going to create is a pop-up form so I'm going to press on this to enable it now we have um, different templates here to choose from so all we have to do is click on it and it'll give us a preview okay so just keep changing them if you want until you find something that you like okay so we've got the opt-in on the left and a picture on the right and stuff like that so there's all different ones here so let's just see what this one is okay so as you can see it's all done for you so I like this part the best because that's how easy it is okay so let's just go with this one here now <coughs> I'm going to I'd like to have a picture to put there I'll see what I've got here um, the other thing is that I have chose a color so I've chosen blue at the moment and you can change it to anything you like just go like this there we go so now it's green alright so let's just leave it on green for now um, the other thing is that you can disable the form inside and replace it with the Facebook button but we won't do that um, also if you've got different opt-in forms made choose the form that you want to use so I've only got one at the moment right so this here make sure you've got this on it says 
auto disable this form after the visitors opt in so you don't want them to getting nagged to death after they've already signed in okay so now we want to put a title in there and I've put some sample things in here um, so we can just write something um, oh sign up for my list and get dot 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 and we'll just make that a bit bigger so four points and we'll just write in these dot points here free reports free downloads free information okay now this is just a test obviously you probably spend a little bit more time writing stuff in there and um, just put that whatever just put whatever um, submit button get it now leave that okay we don't need CSS because this is already created for us okay so what else have we got here let's have a look now it's got a picture okay so over here say we might want to put a picture in here now again I need the URL for the picture so I'm going to go to the website and see if I can steal one off something okay so let's see what have I got so just all I need to do is find a picture this is just going to be an example for now so it doesn't mean that I have to keep the picture but what I'm going to do is right click on it and say uh, copy image location okay now I'm going to go back and I'm going to insert an image so I'm going to put it up the top here and insert an image and I'm going to put the URL in there so there it is and the other thing is I'm going to go to appearance and I'm going to align it to the right okay I'll just put right so see it'll give me a preview over there and also you can resize the image if you want so let's just put 200 wide and we'll press insert and it says it wants a description in that but I'm just going to press OK OK so there's the image over there um, there's my stuff so let's see and I've also written get it now for the button text now I'm going to press save changes and I'm going to go to my home page just going to press on home up the top okay now mind you I haven't changed the settings for this yet but here it goes radio alright well this is what it looks like so far so obviously you could have a bigger picture here you could also I would make these sentences longer for starters and write a bit more in there um, also I would make this text here probably a little bit bigger but um, you can see the potential happening there and um, there's the form there get it now so there's plenty more room there so um, if you don't want something that big just choose another template alright so that's how easy it is so just keep working on it until you make it look good now this is the thing that I want to tell you about this plugin I'm just gonna go back um, you can buy pop-up domination you can buy subscribers magnet you can buy an exit pop-up plugin um, it even has a referral opt-in down here on the side where you can get your subscribers to refer other people and they win points right it also has a Facebook opt-in section um, and 
basically it has so much it's not funny um, if you paid $49 this alone would cover the cost of the pop-up domination um, so that's why basically there's no question about buying this plugin because you'd have to be crazy if you didn't all right thanks for watching guys